Today, we're gonna to be talking about the strategic planning overview or what to prepare for in 2020. I am your host, Leah Demba, and you are listening to the Oracle On Purpose podcast, where we help intentional leaders clarify their purpose and next steps to create a work and life of significance. As we step into 2020, and put the hustle and bustle of the holidays behind us, we are faced with a blank canvas, one which we are free to cast our desires and our hopes on for our life and our work. The question is, do you know what kind of canvas you are casting your ideas upon? Depending on who you ask, 2020 is either more of the same or a powerful year of change. So how do we know, right? Well, many economists are saying that the recession is unlikely and there are astrologers who are saying that we are on the cusp of a major power shift. My insight from the Oracle is a little different. It leans more towards an inner shift of consciousness on a global scale. So there is time for folks to realize and reconcile their misaligned parts and bring their highest intentions to fruition. Imagine that you are given not just a blank canvas, but a highly responsive replicator that is waiting for your command and your attention. This is the year that calls you to be specific and purposeful about your planning. And with that in mind, I want to give you a quick overview of the five-step strategic planning process that I take my clients through in my Master Creators Premier Program. So the thing is, we're going to go over these really quickly. It is an overview, but you will have opportunity at the end to discover more about it. So discover your authentic role is the first step. So what is your unique life purpose and how can you use it to fuel your business? In this first step, you need to determine what your unique life purpose might be. So if you already have a good idea of what it is, then ask yourself, how are you supporting it in your business? And if you aren't sure what it is, you may start by looking at the things that matter most in your life the core beliefs that you have about life, what you value most on a spiritual level, and what you would fight for. Think about that. If it came down to it, what are you willing to fight for? Now, that's where the components of that step, that first step to discover your authentic role come in. And like I said, we'll tell you more if you want all of the details about going through that step. So hang on to the end of the video. The second step is the goal creation blueprint. And this is where we turn goal creation kind of on its head to streamline it and simplify the steps so that we're going from Z to A. And in this next step, you'll not only visualize your goal, but you'll create a holistic plan for your goal's achievement. So think about that. I suggest taking a good 20 to 30 minutes to tap into your vision of the goal and the goal's successful completion. That's the key. Rather than a running list of what the goal entails, give yourself permission to tap into how you feel in that vision. What parts of the goal activate your core values and fulfill your unique life purpose. So the third step in the five step process is the power affirmation creator. Now this is a lot of fun for me. It's one of my favorite things to do and it's turning your gremlins into allies for your business growth. Now you might be out there saying, I don't know about that, but we're going to dive into a mind bending technique for transforming your gremlins into allies with power affirmations. Now, don't roll your eyes. I promise you it's true. It is possible. And there's a purely scientific way to transform those pesky negative thoughts into powerful, 
tools to positive mental mastery. <laughs> Say that slow. Positive mental mastery. That's the key, right? Even if you don't yet believe in the power, affirma power of affirmations, I urge you to listen a little further here and pay attention to this. You see, I'm guessing you're already using power affirmations every day and you don't even know it. That's right. In fact, Louise Hay from Hay House shared on her website blog and she wrote that every thought you think and every word you speak is an affirmation. All of our self-talk, our internal dialogue, is a stream of affirmations. So you're using affirmations every moment, whether you know it or not. You're affirming and creating your life experiences with every word and thought. Now, I think she's someone who would absolutely know a little about affirmations. Now, the key is to find the truth in the negative thought and find out how it can be turned around to serve you. You see, the gremlins that we talk about oftentimes are just there to point us out to something that is out of alignment, right? It's like a little warning sign going off. Hey, look at me, look over here. So when you can affirm the aligned thought, you make them, the gremlins, your ally. Now, there's a great technique for you to take advantage of. Again, if you download the information at the end of this and, and click on the subscribe button, there's all that information available. The fourth is the leap of faith. So you can know when, where, and how to take a flying leap forward in your business. As an intuitive business architect for over 25 years now, I spend my days helping clients navigate their business choices based on sound business strategy and divine in intuition. So not everyone has a business oracle in the Rolodex. So what do you do if that's you? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about next. We're going to be talking about that leap of faith and deciding when, where, and how to take that flying leap forward in your business. And it's a crucial part of the progress of your plan, right? It helps to move your strategy, your strategic plan forward. So it's not just enough to know what steps to take next. Sometimes making a smooth landing on the next level requires impeccable timing and, this is important, tremendous bravery. So the secret recipe, are you ready for this? The secret recipe for just how much bravery versus how much leap you're going to take to know the exact timing is to be about 75% nervous and 25% excited. You know, when you're feeling like that, you know you have a pretty good leap of faith. And that means that you're actually leaning out towards that goal, okay? Now, the fifth step is basically a compilation step. And this is the manifestation map. And there are how to pull it all together into one simplified source to free up energy and find your flow, right? We don't wanna feel like we're overwhelmed by the process. So the manifestation map is a unique focusing tool that allows you to streamline your manifestation skills remove clutter and replace overwhelm, right? Re get rid of that overwhelm of fill all the to-do lists and replace it with clarity and calm. Sound good? A simple process will take all of the previous four steps and combine them into one efficient tool that you can use over and over and over again with complete ease. So the component is really simple. It consists of a single sheet that spells out the following things. First, it talks about your focus goal for the week. Second is the details of your leap of faith that we just talked about. The third, of course, is the power affirmation. And lastly, number four on that little sheet would be your self-supporting activities. And this is a part of your work and your day 
that I really like to focus on with my clients. So if you want to make sure that your strategic planning is in alignment for 2020, and you have all the details of each of these five steps, this process allows you to really take your planning to an entirely new level that is designed specifically with you and your goals in mind. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't yet, subscribe and ring the bell. And if you want to see more videos like this, click right here.